Hello YouTube friends. A member of our family picked up this warrior, uh, Winnebago warrior, uh, about 25 foot, 26 foot motorhome for a real bargain. And uh, so they, it's been sitting up, never hardly been used. I think it's got 20,000 miles on it or something. And it wasn't kept under a cover, so there's a lot of cleanup we did and a lot of more cleanup needed. But they took it camping one time and the starter went out on it. Uh, so they got, luckily they got it right back home and it quit uh, in the front yard and uh, it wouldn't start up again. So we checked the batteries, the batteries are good. And I jumped, the, went underneath and I jumped straight to the starter and the starter just clicked. And it's got uh, some crud coming out of the back of it. So here's a starter right here. I've just pulled it out and I want to tell you it was the easiest starter to get out that I've just about ever done. It's just two bolts, nine sixteenths heads comes up through the bottom there. Let's see. Right here. One, two. Goes straight up. This starter sits up against the engine block just like that. And then there was two half inch nuts, which are these two, uh, these two nuts right here, holding on the uh, holding on the wires to the back of the solenoid here and here. And I cut the uh, the solenoid uh, feed wire on off wire. Uh, that's the starter uh, activator wire. I just cut that because. Um, that's a rusty nut on there, and yeah, a lot of times it's easier to cut them and use a connector to put them back together than it is to uh, mess up things by uh, changing it out. So I'll put a little grease, I'll put a little lubricant on there and get that pigtail off of there and just connect it back with a connector right there. So I want to show you how I got the starter off. It probably took 10 minutes to take the starter off, but it took me probably 45 minutes to get the machine jacked up so I could work with it. I've got a 20 ton bottle jack. We just picked up at Harbor Freight for uh, $40. And I've got three jack stands under there uh, just to make sure. And they're sitting on uh, some wood plates because the jack stand will or bury itself if, uh, if the uh, weight comes down on it. Now all the weight's really sitting on this 20 ton jack right now. I've got the jack stands for safety and the problem is, oh by the way, Bay RV Sales, Lillian, Alabama. I don't live in Lillian, Alabama, but that's where this came from. So uh, the access a little bit difficult because the you got to crawl underneath this step that's uh, under there, so the steps retracted. And I've got a piece of a uh, piece of carpet, so let me crawl under there and show you where the starter is. I don't have to go too far under here. You can see the wires right there, and I'll show you the bolts and where it bolts up. Uh, it's getting dark on me on the outside, but I think this is going to come out okay. So one of the bolts with the 9 16 heads here, and one is over here. And so I laid the, let's see, I laid one of the bolts over here on the cross member. And that one goes up in here. I think the bolts are both the same length. And let's see where I laid the other bolt. Well, I think the other bolt fell down on the ground. So I'm not going to be able to show you that right now. This was the uh, main wire. Oh, the other safety thing is always disconnect your battery so your wire here. This is a positive wire. You want to make sure that that's disconnected so there's no power coming to it. 
and then this one hooks with that and then uh, this one is the one I showed you that I cut off so you just slide the starter up in place and there's plenty of room here and then you put the two bolts in it here and then you connect uh, actually I'll connect these both back to the starter before I put the bolt uh, put the starter up in place so those two and that and so that's how simple this starter is <clears throat> this is a 454 V8 Chevrolet I'm not sure what the liters are on it it's 454 cubic inch this was uh, I think a 2000 model Winnebago Warrior I like to say this is a small one but uh, they they had a lot of fun with it I did want to show you my uh, use my Ryobi wrench and that the long socket worked good because it's a half inch there and then I got the 9 sixteenths right there so uh, these two wrenches I didn't even need I didn't use this I just brought all those with me I did not use my ratchet I used my uh, Ryobi buy one of these things if you don't have one if you do very much work at all they're just uh, make things so much easier You've got a light to work with there and I cut that wire with this uh, with the razor knife there uh, on the starter there's a hole a weep hole right here and black crud is coming out of it so I'm pretty sure it's wiped out I'll probably do a video on I'll, I'll probably take the back end of this starter off and just see if it's anything simple because the machine's only got 20,000 miles on it uh, and be looking for a, if you're interested in this I will show how to bolt that starter back up on the uh, reinstall starter this is just the uh, take it out and talk about what's wrong with it so like and subscribe if you will hope this uh, video helps some people be safe make sure these things are super heavy I've got a 20 ton jack under here and if I were working on a heavier one I'd go with two 20 ton jacks and I'd go with some real heavy duty jack stands these are regular automotive jack stands under here and the 20 ton uh, jack worked really well okay you too uh, like and subscribe if you will and uh, look out for the other videos on the reinstall of the starter uh, and I'll probably do a video on the insides of that starter motor take that motor apart have a great day